it's me Nick and welcome back to my channel. Today's Maria's Christmas Specials, I'll be doing a makeup tutorial and it will be a lazy Christmas holiday makeup look. It's quite long. <laughs> so yeah, basically I'll be doing a lazy holiday look. This is very suitable and perfect for your casual Christmas parties, like your Christmas parties at school. And of course, in school, we need to follow the rules like no too much makeup and stuff like that. So we will play safe while being cute. And I'm here to help you gals out with this makeup tutorial. So if you guys wanted to know how I create this look, then you need to keep on watching. So we are going to start, of course, with a clean face and I wanted to do a skincare first before I go with the base and I'm going to moisturize my face with my favorite Cytotech Dermascience Acne Clearing Facial Moisturizer Gel and one thing that I like about this is that it's mattifying so if you are really oily or if you have a combination skin then this will be a good moisturizer for you. Plus, moisturizing is a must, especially when it's the season of cold weather. It is because I really don't want my skin to be dry and super, super dehydrated. So we need to quench our skin with some moisturizer. For the base, no foundation, just concealer. And I just want to cover my blemishes, my acne spots, and my dark under eyes. This is actually my main base when I do my everyday makeup, just concealer. And I'm also going to put some on the bridge of my nose as my highlight. So I'm blending it with my fingers. You can use a beauty blender, but since this is a lazy type of makeup, at this point, I would never actually stand up and get a beauty blender. Plus, when you use your fingers, your concealer will look more, I don't know, seamless. It didn't really cover that much, but it's fine. I don't really mind. I just want to lessen the impurities. Next is you might want to take your face powder and set that concealer, but today I'm going to use this shade from the contouring palette of Wet n Wild. I'm just going to pat it down to the areas where I put concealer so it wouldn't be cakey by the end of the day. Doesn't mean that if it is December then you won't sweat. Because hello, this is Philippines, so you need to get ready, right? Look at the difference, like, my skin tone is so different. I don't wear low V t-shirts that much, that's why it's too light. I don't really expose it to the sun that much. So we are just going to warm up the face with some bronzer very lightly. I don't want to overdone it. So I'm using the same contouring palette from Wet n Wild. I'm gonna use this super cute fan brush. Just to warm up a bit. You don't want it to be too much. We're not actually contouring, we're just warming up the face so that we don't look really um, pale. So we're also putting on my temples because we need to, you know, lessen the wide potential of my forehead. I'm also going to put some here like to bronze up my chest to make it a little bit, you know, tan so that it will be complementary to my face. Next thing that we will do is the blush. I'm going to use a clay blusher this time and this one is from my favorite brand, Painted Cosmetics in the shade Peach. I'm just going to put it directly on my cheek very lightly then I'm just going to blend it with my fingers then again no time for brushes and it's a clay blusher so why would you use like a brush on this one you know what, I actually thought that I want to do a drum blush look, so we're just going to put some here in our bridge and just blend that well. Make sure that it's not harsh and it blended well 
that connects the two cheeks. What is Christmas when there's you no know, a glowy face? This time I'm going to use a tapered brush and I'm also going to use my favorite highlighter which is the Essence Pure Nude Highlighter. You know that I like this. Just give yourself a little gleam there. Make sure to put highlighter on the highest points of your face to each and every one of them, okay? And also my chin and also my cupid's bow and also bottom of my nose Ooh, that's cute! And also the bridge Don't forget about that Also don't forget your forehead But don't put too much You don't want to look sweaty you don't want to look oily You want to look glowy, girl So please, control the way you highlight Okay, next is my brows I mean, look at those Look at those brows Like, oh my gosh They're so dead Like, they don't have any motivation in their lives that's why we're going to fix them. We're going to keep them awake and alive. Okay, so apparently I have this obsession nowadays. Like these models who actually wear makeup with their eyebrows very natural and bushy and feathery. And you know, the brushed up brows. They're really cute. I think they're very wild and very natural and pretty and amazing and cute. So I tried to find something to help my brows to cope up with that beauty trend. So yeah, this product is actually my current favorite. This is the uh, B.U.B. Tub from Sunday's Beauty. Can I tell that this packaging is so pretty and bougie? So this is basically just a wax type of thing. It's like a gel wax. So what you do is you spritz some on the spoolie so that the wax can actually hold from the spoolie. You can use any face mist or your hair sp hairspray. <laughs> you can use any face mist or makeup spray, setting spray, to wet the spoolie. Then you're just going to rub the spoolie onto the wax. And after that, it's time for you to groom your brows and be cute. So what I do is just pull it up, making sure that their form, my natural eyebrow form, is still there. Then for your inner corners, you need to like pull everything up. Look at that difference. This one looks very bushy and thick and healthy, and this one looks very dead. <sighs> R.I.P. It is a big difference, was it? I actually like these. I could actually wear these type of brows like every day. Like who doesn't want that? We're down to the next step, which is for the eyes. But yeah, we're just going to wake them up with some mascara. The trick for a good eyelash is the way you use this. Go onto the roots. Make sure you are curling your lashes, starting from the root and just press your curler like multiple times do not press it like one big hold for a few seconds that will hurt your eye just you know press your lash curler a few times for a few seconds like 10 seconds or 15 seconds next is you are going to the middle part of your lash and do this type of position to your lash curler and do the multiple press thing that I was talking about. I think this will gross you out, but whatever. I just want to be cute, so. That way of curling your lashes wouldn't make your lash be like this. Like, it will just fold, but it will be like this. Like, there will be a curl because you curled your lashes in the middle, so... 
yeah it wouldn't look that you just fold your lashes onto your lid so that's the technique on how I do it then I'm gonna just take my lashes mascara I'm sorry I'm starting from the roots and pull up my lashes first next thing that you will do is you will do the zigzag thing that everybody knows this is actually my favorite part because it opens up your eye because you put mascara on both bottom and upper lash so this is what it looks like now look at the difference one thing that I like about it because I have contacts and it really emphasizes my eyes. I'm just going to do my other eye off camera. So update, I finished my lashes, I kind of fixed my uh, right brow and I also put more blush because... Now for the last step, we're going to do the lips. I have three lips recommendations because I don't really know which type of lip that I should go for. I might just do the three of them. So first lip is going to be red tinted lip balm. This one is from Painted Cosmetics. You could use any type of tinted lip balm, but personally, red would be a great color because you know it's holidays. You know your look is simple, but you know still cute. But of course, we need something that could give that a little bit of a zest on your look. So red lip is a good choice so this is what it looks like when you swatch it this is what it looks like when you put it on your lips it's really cute i would say it's a cool tone red which is nice because it's holidays i love cool tone red when it's holidays because it feels cozy okay so the next lip well, earlier we used a tinted lip balm and it is actually a matte tinted lip balm. Now we are going to use a glossy type of lipstick. This is actually one of my favorites as well. This one is from L'Oreal and this is the uh, Color Rich Shine and it is in the shade Beauty Group. So as you can tell, this is a very red. Actually, it is a warm tone red, I can say. And it's a glossy type of lipstick. It's like a lip gloss. This one, ooh, this is pretty. I like this one. So this one, it actually moisturized my lips quickly since it is a lip gloss. It makes my lips very luscious and very healthy and you know there's like a bit of a pop now for our last lip this is for someone who is not really a red lipstick fan unlike me well this one we are going to be a bit mauve so what i'm going to use is the touch of spice from maybelline's um what was it i don't know if this is the creamy matte but I think this is the creamy matte. I would just simply dab. Then I'll just there. Simple. Oh, and one thing that you could do with this one. So go cover your lips with this. Only the middle part, though. Then you could take a cotton bud, smudge the sides, take out your concealer, I guess we have four recommended lips after all. That's it for 
for today's video if you guys like that and if you guys wanted videos like this one don't forget to like this video and also subscribe to my channel also please follow my social media accounts so you'll be notified every time i post another video and also you'll be updated on my youtube channel Stay tuned for more Maria's Christmas specials and don't forget that I might actually do a giveaway soon. So yeah, go ahead, subscribe now. Don't forget to comment whether it is a love or a hate comment. I always appreciate everything. Also subscribe to my best friend's YouTube channel. I'm also going to leave that link on the description box and stay tuned to his special Christmas segment. Thank you very much and I hope that I'll see you guys very very soon. Bye. Mwah.